reporter Lupe, our senior reporter Lupe Asom is uh, live at the Kashim Ibrahim House uh, in Kaduna State uh, to bring us more updates on uh, recent developments. Uh, Lupe, good to see you once again. We, we, we could see clips uh, from uh, the State House where heads of uh, security agencies as well as senior officials of the Kaduna State Government are uh, waiting for the arrival of uh, the students. But uh, something is uh, sparking reactions from people as to the men of the Nigeria Police Force that are found out. Uh, what, does, what does this uh, mean in any way? Uh, well, Lupe, if you can hear me, uh, I am talking to you about the current uh, security situation at the State House. If you can hear me, okay. um, yes. Uh, we could see the heads of uh, security agencies as well as senior officials gathered at the State House. But uh, talk to us about uh, the men of the Nigerian police force that we see fouled out expecting the uh, students from Zamfara. Well, of course, uh, more security trucks have arrived at Kaduna State House, at Kaduna State Government House. We also saw several personnel of the Nigerian police force file out, line up, they were chanting songs. And of course, uh, we suspect that they are the tactical uh, rescue squad, where they, they are the tactical uh, team that the, that the IG of police promised to deploy to some of these, some of these, uh, some of these distressed areas. So we saw them file out and more trucks. If you could look behind me, you could see, you see at least two, and we still have a couple of them uh, around the government house. So uh, we've had security uh, troops file into the government house, and the expectation is that they will be deployed. But the students are still being expected. We came into this place as early as 7.38 a.m., and we saw, uh, we saw officials of the Cardinal State Government, indeed security operatives, troop into this place uh, wait with, with bated breath for these students who, who have been expected from Zamfara State. And pictures have now emerged of those students who were kidnapped and regained their freedom on Sunday. You could see them look tattered, very tired, and in a bus. So we, we, we are expecting them here as soon as possible. But reactions have continued to pour in. Senior, uh, the very respected elders, from Kaduna State are now commending the state government and indeed the federal government for their efforts to secure the release of these people. Of course, with the release of these students, it now puts an end to a very distressing period for these communities. And it also marks the beginning of, of course, the psychosocial uh, support, which is to be given to these children to help them uh, cope properly. And it is still unclear if their school will be transferred or if the student will be relocated from that school, but in the coming days we'll get to find out. Lupe, do you have any information as uh, regards when the student, the students will be arriving in the State House? And also talk to us about what the mood is like at the State House currently. Are there parents of the students expecting their arrival? Yes, we see the government is going to the Cardinal State government is going to meet with the parents of these people. And from the information we gathered, they are going to be handed over to their parents. So we have the parents. Some of them are representatives of the, the families. Of course, they are very, very far away, but the representatives of the family members are here. And of course, the Cardinalistic government will be interfacing with them as soon as uh, the students arrive. So that's the information we have right now. But the traditional leaders, senior security officers, they are seated inside. They were quite, they were quite excited when this news broke, and they are just waiting to get to see these children and, of course, embrace them once again. Our correspondent, Lupe Assam, live for us in Kaduna. Thank you for joining us on the News at 1.